Hello guys and welcome to a new video. So finally, it's Christmas week. Are you done with your shopping yet? I finally got my shopping done two days ago. Anyway, so I decided to relax this week and take it easy for a change. I think I've earned it. So yeah, in the spirit of Christmas, I am actually going to give you guys an early Christmas present. Yeah, as you can see, the studio's actually been attacked by the spirit of Christmas. Check this one out. <laughs> but it's empty. I am probably gonna throw some guitar picks in there. I gotta tell you, I am actually surprised that Luigi didn't actually knock everything off of the table. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Anyway, so early Christmas present. Here's the deal. This is one of the questions I get the most on my Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram and you actually read my captions, if you scroll all the way down, you'll see that I say proud artist and endorsee followed by a list of brands that I work with and endorse me. And I get a lot of messages saying, hey, I saw that you're endorsed by this brand, can you get me endorsed? Or how did you get endorsed? So gather around, children, and get ready for a new episode of The Hard Truth on how to get endorsed by brands. But before we get to that, you know the drill. Make sure you drop me a like, drop me a comment in the comment section down below so you can help me out and we can beat the almighty YouTube algorithm. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel like a man. And please consider becoming a member of the channel. If you want to join the team, just make sure you click on the join button below. A little goes a long way. Okay, so with all of that out of the way, let's get to it. Okay, so in case you have no idea what I'm talking about, being endorsed by a brand is basically being supported by a brand. That doesn't necessarily mean that they pay you for advertising. And it definitely doesn't mean that you get their shit for free. You can, but that's not always the case. Okay, so after playing guitar live for over 15 years and having been in the music retail business for over 10 years, there's a lot of things you learn from the brand. So here's a couple of tips. Number one, don't expect to get free stuff. I don't care if you have 20,000 followers on YouTube or Instagram. You're not entitled to So don't be a Karen and ask nicely for stuff. I've got countless stories about people getting hit by the door on their way out. So yeah, don't be obnoxious. Okay, so you want to be endorsed. Here's the deal. Endorsements actually work both ways. And most of the time, at the beginning, you are going to have to do most of the work. As some of you may know, I actually have an endorsement deal with Music Nomad Care, Seymour Duncan, Dadaria Strings, Hex Hider Tools, and Hosatech Cables. And also, if you've been watching my videos, I've actually been working with the ML Sound Lab for a while now. Now, all these brands actually work differently, but they basically have the same approach. There is one thing that all these brands are after, and that is exposure. If they see that you can promote their product, they will probably grant you an endorsement deal. And it's different based on how much promotion they think they can get out of you. And what has to happen is that you actually have to nourish a relationship with the brand. You have to show them that you can actually become an asset to their company. So yeah, in the beginning, you're basically gonna have to sell yourself to them. And I don't mean whore yourself out. But what I mean by that is that you have to show them your worth. So more often than not, you are going to have to reach out to them. So do a little homework beforehand. First of all, make sure you're contacting the right person. Most of the brands actually have a website and you can actually look for their artist relations personnel. It might be a different person on different countries or different continents. You might have somebody for Europe, somebody else for the United States, Asia, South America, and so on. So make sure you contact the right person. Once you do that, make sure you write a very articulate email in where you present yourself and you tell them all the things that you've accomplished. And of course, link them to your social media. Don't expect them to go looking for you because they're just not going to. They get a ton of daily emails of a lot of people asking for the same thing as you. So you gotta make sure you stand out. Also, make sure that before you email them, you do a little profile cleansing. Make sure that your photos are professional looking. And I don't mean pro shots. I mean professional in the sense that when a company is looking through it, they're actually presentable. No pictures of you lying on the sidewalk all wasted and stuff. Also, try to get your followers and subscribers count up before you contact them. The way they see it, the more followers you have, the more people you can actually showcase their product to. So yeah, it pays to have followers. But don't worry, you don't have to have like 8,000 followers to do this. For them, it's better to have a thousand followers that actually engage with you than to have 20,000 followers and not a single comment on your pictures. So yeah, keep that in mind. That's why I always ask everybody and their mother to please comment in the comment section down below. Okay, so once you've done that, be patient. A lot of email services actually have a follow-up option in where if it's been three days and they haven't answered back to you, it actually triggers that and tells you, hey, do you want to follow up on this? 
and send them an extra email or a second email, don't fall on that trap. You don't want to annoy your artist relations person. You want to be on their good side. Now this is the most important part. Most brands are not going to give you any free stuff, not at the beginning anyway. You need to build a relationship with the brand. So the best that you can hope for is getting a discount on their product. And there's nothing worse for a brand and for a musician than getting a discount on something you don't need or you don't want. Because now that you've actually established that connection, you are on their radar. So they want to see what are you buying and what are you sharing. So if you contact every brand hoping to get an endorsement deal with anybody you might actually get one for something you don't want or you don't use and then what's going to happen is that you're actually going to spend money on something you don't need and then you're going to show a product on your video that you don't really care about and that's going to show and that's actually going to bite you and them in the butt later on okay so i will tell you how it worked out for me so for instance I love the Music Nomad products. I don't know if you can see it, but I actually have a whole shelf of their stuff and I have some backups as well. I use it all the time and the stuff can actually get really pricey. So one day I'm on tour in New York and I am wiping down my guitar before the show and I guess I dropped my cleaner bottle and it went under the bed. The next day I got up and checked out of the room and left New York for good. So yeah, I was really pissed because I had lost a guitar cleaner bottle that I had just bought. And that's when it clicked. I thought, hey, I love this product. I buy this product all the time. Even if I can get a small discount, it'll be worth it to me to get in touch with them. So once I got home, I sat down on my computer and I wrote my first email to Morgan, who is the artist relations rep at Music Nomad Care. And we really hit it off. I told her about how I remember when they first came out to the market. Back then I was working at Sam Ash and I remember when they first came into the store showcasing their product and they had this awesome strategy. They would ask the salesman if they could just clean up the guitars that were hanging on the wall. And of course, it was our job to do it. So we said, yes, go for it. Less for us to clean, right? So they would just set up camp and clean up guitars all day long. And it actually got us a chance to see how well it actually worked. And of course, back then, I was the guitar department manager at the store. So I started talking to the rep and I asked them, you know, how much is the bottle? What's the true cost? What's the overhead? You know, profit margins and stuff like that. And she thought it was so cool that I remember that story. So yeah, a week later, she gives me the thumbs up and she sent me the end OC and artist price list. So I stocked up. And we've had a great relationship ever since. In fact, they actually got me into NAM at the beginning of this year. And she told me, and I will take her up on this, that she wanted me there with my badge on for next year. Sadly, of course, with all this pandemic bullshit, there's not going to be a NAM next year. But I am planning on going to whichever NAM is next. So yeah, the same applies to Hosatech, to Seymour Duncan, Dadario Strings, and Hexhider. And I get different discounts on all of them. And sometimes, when they come out with new stuff or stuff they actually want some feedback on or they just want to promote, I do get the occasional freebie, but that's not always the case. So yeah, if you want to be endorsed, make sure you get your name out there. Get people to notice you and get people to interact with you and with your channel. Anyway, I really hope that answered your question. If you have any more questions I might be able to answer, just drop me a comment in the comment section down below. Don't forget to drop me a like if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel like a man if you haven't yet. And if you want to become a part of the team and support the channel, make sure you hit that join button down there. That'd be awesome. Okay guys, see you on Christmas Day for the first ever Jam With Pat video. I really hope you have a great one. Take it easy on the eggnog and I will see you guys next time. Pat out. Metal on dudes.